Okay, so let's see if I can do this in one shot without making a fool of myself. So you can do it with the UCS if you're just going to try and find this part and you'll be setting up your stock naturally in your machine and this is going to be set up as the zero area and it will create it. But if you have an asymmetrical part like this and you want it to do it in multiple operations then you have to manually set it up. And you can use your UCS though to find out the rotation angles that you'll need to input into the features. And the way you do that is the part is centered on zero which is what round stock or your big block would be that you're going to get all that out of. And, uh, and so now I'll have to manu I'll actually rotate this part, the geometry, for each operation and then manually put in the rotation angle into here. Because if you do it all with UCSs, like if I set a UCS for this plane right here, I'm going to be setting it as zero on from here in X here and Y and then zero is going to be here now instead of actually over here if you were rotating that part around center. So the easiest way to do it, I did this with Alan a couple of years ago we figured out, was uh, just to use an uh, adding of a UCS to get your value. So um, here's the solid and then uh, I've got edges extracted already for, uh, for us to use in our operations afterwards. And, uh, or you can use uh, three, the, these surfaces for if you want if you start adding fillets and you want to have 3D operations. So anyway, um, what it looks like is uh, this first one is zero. So that's going to be this first pocket. We'll just leave that alone. But now, uh, say what I want to do is uh, is this next one here as a profile. So how do I know? how to rotate my geometry and what to put in the feature. Well, I can use the UCS to do that. Now, I already ran through this real quick, but so I know the numbers, but I'll just show you what it is. So here's the UCS, and you can tell, uh, you can tell it to add UCS by three points, and that will then give you the value. So add new CES, let's go by three points, and we'll go there's one, and this is the X direction, and then the Y direction up here. So that gives me a UCS, right? And so what I can do now is find out uh, uh, my feature will give me what that rotation angle is now, right? But see, I don't want to use this UCS to do it because right now this is Z0 right here. And so it wouldn't work by rotating the part. So in our manual way we're doing it here is um, let's find it, you know, let's just start off with what that uh, rotation value is right there, right? So we'll select, say we're wanting to select that Daddy. and then uh, now we can edit the feature and in here it's putting out the Daddy. rotation angle okay yeah you'll have to wait daddy's busy right now okay go downstairs I'll be down in a minute just wait I'll be down in a minute so the rotation angle of that part is 59.0362 right so um, that tells me where I'll be rotating my actual geometry to alt to to get to. So now, uh, let's say the next feature is going to be um, another UCS for uh, this part over here, right? This one here. So we'll go to the UCS. We'll add a new UCS, and let's do another 3.1, 2, and then 3. Did I get it? Yep, I got it. And so the um, there may be another way to find out the rotation value, but just the quick way I do it is uh, is uh, with this here. Uh, what? Yes, I asked her to wait a minute, buddy, because I'm busy for a second, okay? okay yep, yeah, give me a minute. And that part right there is going to be 223.5312. And then so on for the last one, which is going to be uh, these two holes over, or the, these two holes over here we're going to do, right? 
So it's just a matter of going around. So you have, say, a five, a four or a five index. Just uh, uh, go around and find the the index, the rotation value for each feature that you plan on doing, right? And then uh, now we will use those values to rotate our part around and do our tool pathing. And then we'll have to put into the feature the uh, the actual uh, rotation value into the feature itself. So let's uh, go to the top UCS here, center everything up. So our first one is this, and we're in zero. So we'll go to, uh, let's blank our solid again. I just need the 2D geometry. And I want to go with my first feature here. I'm going to select the part. I'm going to do that. We'll go in, we'll edit, uh, and we want to make sure, even on zero, you want to make sure you output the rotary angle. Sometimes it's unchecked, and you, you want to output zero even if it's zero, so when you go to other parts, your machine knows to go back, right? But uh, we'll just change some parameters, you know, 0.25, zero. Actually, let's make this 1.5, and then uh, a tool, 0.25, zero, zero. Okay, and we'll compute that tool path. Okay, so it did it from zero, so we need to know um, the height of that entity, right? And uh, actually, uh, <coughs> one of the old builds used to just be able to do that. So it's 7.25, and uh, these newer builds don't do that now, so in here we have to put in 7.25. So there's that pocket, right? So that one's set. It's good to go. Now we want to do the profile next, right? So we'll go in here. Let's get all our data sh showing. And then we're going to rotate the part. And you can see I was fooling around with that a second ago. So let's select it all. And our first value we chose for that profile was 59.03. 62 so we'll put in 59.0362 and we're going to enter it we want to just rotate it around the zero so let's accept that and rotate it so now that profile is there and then so now we set up our second operation which is the profile feature and that's that one well, let's do the quick entity summary so we know the height of it right eight point is that an eight? My eyes are gone. Eight point eight seven five one. Eight point eight seven five one. I'm writing it down because my brain doesn't work anymore. So let's go to our profile. We'll select the geometry. I've selected it. I'm gonna go to the profile and I'm gonna type in eight point eight seven five one. Okay, you guys are gonna have to bear with me because my daughter is here. And we're going to output the rotary angle of 22.23 point, oh, point. What, sweetie? I'm going to animate some values for me. That's why it's not working. Yes, I can. Okay, do it now. Point. There's my profile on that one. Okay, and I'm not going to screw around with changing the parameters. So now we have our third one. Uh, let's go and rotate our geometry one more time to get to this one back here, right? Which is going to be selected. Oh, I'm not thinking. I can't think right now. Let's select it all, and let's put in the value of 315, which I know that one was already. We're at zero, and we rotate it so that, uh, oh, I forgot. It rotates by relative, so I have to go back to zero rotate it now to 315 and there's that part right there okay pause <sighs> okay I believe we're resumed and so this was that part now and I didn't do my proper uh, you know, that was that rotation angle right so let's go I might stop short because I'm being distracted and confused and so there's a pocket I can go here 
that would be this pocket here and uh, we will go select that geometry reselect and let's go with this I think this will be enough to give you the idea anyway there's that let's get an entity summary so we know the height of where that geometry is like I said the system used to do it for us 7.955 so we'll go into this pocket and we'll make sure we tell it 7.955 and I'm not going to change any more parameters and just drag it out I guess I did I not get it oh that's not what I wanted to put I wanted to put that up here didn't I 7.955 I'm not thinking and then my rotation angle is uh, 315 wasn't it okay I'm a mess and there's that and so we can really skip doing the other one but um basically so what you have now is the top of part you had to find and enter and the rotation angle the first one is zero second one is uh you know see get it yeah top of part at that top of part so it was pretty quick to set up three of those i could do all five of them real quick and then uh have your post processor selected and post the code did i hit post and then uh my only issue with the back plot has always been that uh it can be mirrored if you're using uh, the STL and different things. Let's see what the back plot does right here. Start. So uh, there's my back plot on my rotated part. Okay, and I could, if I wanted to use the actual part, I would have to use an STL. Earlier, it wasn't working for me though and that was because the STL was mirrored. So let's stop and then we'll uh, go from there.